Hello friend, I'm Mormozine. I'm an artist and a uh, video maker, a YouTuber, an influencer and everything. And today we're talking about something very important, which is artist um, self-discipline and how to master artist self-discipline. And you need to know what your why is like why do you want want to uh be more self-disciplined you need to choose a feasible goal so um pick something like do i want to make more um prints or do I want to make more original works of art? Do I want to make more money in my art? Do I want to network more or do more shows? But you got to specialize your goal, specify your goal, like choose exactly and don't be vague if it's like, Rather than just say, I want to go to more shows, make it like, I'm going to go to six art shows in two different states or something like that. Specify, get more, set a more specific goal. And you need to visualize your goal so you can um, sketch out your goal or make a collage of your goal and visualize the process what is it going to take to get towards your artistic goals um, like what steps are you going to have to take and everything and you one an important thing is self accountability and making yourself accountable to others so you gotta hold yourself accountable where if you say you're gonna do something you gotta do it every time and if you don't then you gotta make up for what time you missed and you can have an accountability partner like your friend, your spouse, or even your business mentor and have them hold you accountable and you can be accountable to them. And you want to build good habits that lead to good artist, artist self-discipline good versus bad habits. Everybody's got habits. Some are actually really good. For instance, I typically do a um, YouTube video every night, at least one. I wish I could get in the habit of doing an art card every night. That's a habit I'd really like to get into. And you want to have a good morning ritual like something like 95% of millionaires have a morning ritual that they do every morning from like really rich and famous people every morning they get up and they have a ritual whether it's have a healthy breakfast and do some exercise a cup of coffee um, read the paper or whatever but people successful people have a good morning ritual and you need to remove obstacles to disciplining yourself there's some common obstacles you must fight against and uh if you know something is holding you back like for instance if you can't if you don't have your supplies or you don't have a space to work or maybe you just don't have any um, self-confidence you're insecure 
but you gotta remove those obstacles that are holding you back. And you gotta take care of your body, you gotta eat healthy, exercise regularly, get a good night's sleep, avoid getting stressed out. There's good stress and then there's bad stress. So good stress is like when you're accomplishing what you want to do and bad stress is like overly worrying and fixating on things that could go wrong. And you want to use your self-discipline to manage stress. So rather, like I say, rather than just obsess on something, just move on and do something else that's positive and keeps you going in the right direction. And you need to start setting boundaries and start saying no more. Set boundaries for yourself, like you won't do this or you won't do that. Tell people no if people want you to go out and drink and do all kinds of expensive, pointless things when you could be working on your art or promoting and marketing your art. So you got to put yourself above others and be willing to tell people no, even if it like lets them down and makes you feel guilty. You got to be all right with telling people no so that you can focus on your goals and your self-discipline. You got to face your fears. Conquer your fear of failure. Conquer your fear of success. Stop sabotaging yourself. So if you have fears, you know, maybe you're afraid. No one will like your art. Well, you got to get over that and realize that there's a market for your art out there of people who would appreciate it and pay for it and everything. And you got to, and, and you can't be worried about succeeding like what you'll do next. Like once you've accomplished your artistic goals, there might be nothing left, but you got to worry, overcome your fears of success and stop sabotaging yourself. Stay, stand firm and stay committed to your goal. The power of perseverance. You got to persevere when you're going through hard times. Like right now, my pipes are frozen and there's ice on my road. And I'm running out of supplies and everything. But I got to just keep working and uh, keep doing art and keep promoting my art and everything and stay committed to your goals and you got to reward yourself when you have self-discipline a fitting reward like my two rewards are cigarettes and smoking weed and you got to delay gratification and tell yourself I won't do the things I like, like smoking, until I accomplish my goals for the day. <clears throat> and so basically, um, art is self-discipline, it's just finding a goal, working, and you gotta realize that when you find a goal, it's gonna take time to accomplish that goal. It's gonna take a lot of effort and a lot of time and then you got to overcome your fears and uh, you got to take care of your body. You need good habits that will help you achieve your goal and have good self-discipline. And thanks so much. Keep watching.
Okay, friends, so I'm Mormo. There's my lecture about, um, about artists, self-discipline, and I think the, the video came out really poor. I don't know why that keeps happening to me. I don't know if it's my editing software or if it's my video creating software. But for some reason, the video always comes out really crappy looking. And uh, I don't know why, but it's like really late. And I'm too tired to figure it out. But um, anyways, so at, with artist self-discipline, you just want to pick a goal and then follow through on your goal. Make it reasonable. Like if you want to start making a hundred bucks a day doing art, then um, give yourself at least six months to get there. At the start of this month, I wanted to make $40 a, a day doing art. And I've been slacking, I've been really slacking on my art and stuff. And uh, so I need more self-discipline myself. And that's why I make these videos because I learn and then I earn basically. So it's a learning experience for me and then I make money off of it through ad revenue and through building my audience and everything and being an inf art influencer and everything. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I'm going to put a link to my eBay store in the description where you can buy my art if you're interested. I got reasonably priced originals and prints available for sale in my eBay store. And thanks so much. Hello, friend. Mormo here. I've started my very own collection and personal series of trading cards. Each one is personally hand drawn and designed by me. This has been a creative and lucrative business for myself. I personally autograph and date each one. Each card is uniquely different. If you would like to order a card today, you can search for Mormozine on eBay or contact me at mormozine at hotmail.com. Thanks so much.